diving. One of the fastest growing dog sports that's happening all over the nation. And today we're going to talk to you guys about how to get started, whether your dog is just starting out jumping into your own swimming pool in your backyard, or you want your dog to be able to fly even further across the pool. Today we're going to talk about all these aspects and more. If you enjoy training your dog to the next level, you are in the right place here on the Doggy Dojo. On social media, I asked if you'd love to see some dock diving content and how to get your dog into the water, and you came back with a solid yes. Before we get started, I have to introduce to you guys the different teams that you may consider joining along this journey. First up, we got Team Corgi. These corgis are brand new to any type of water, and we are starting from scratch from the beginning. Next, we have Team Frenchie. French Bulldogs are real interesting for the fact that it's sometimes good to start them in a life vest due to their body style. It's a bit safer and a lot easier for them to swim with a life vest on. These two Frenchies have had some experience with the water and they're just starting to get in and start to learn how to swim and get used to getting back up onto the dock. Next up is Team Terrier. Inya is a wonderful silky terrier who has had experience jumping into the water and we're on the baby dock right now jumping onto a small platform and our goal is to eventually get her jumping all the way off the tall dock. And finally, we have Team Border Collie. Our Border Collie Jade has been jumping for a little while. The national average for Border Collies is 16 foot 11 inches and she is now starting to jump 21 feet. We've gotten some tips from some professional dock diving trainers and we've used them to really extend and increase her distance into the water. Let me know in the comment section whether you're Team Corgi, Team Frenchies, Team Terrier, or Team Border Collie will help me know what content I need to be making on this channel to help you guys out. Make sure to represent down below in the comment section and let's get this party started. First up, we have Team Corgi. These two little corgis, like I said, have been just starting out in the water. One of them is an older corgi named Morgan, and she is a little bit scared of noises even, so really kind of building her confidence and taking time. If you're just starting your dog off into the water, whether it be for dock diving purposes or just getting him into the swimming pool, this is key. Making sure your dog has confidence and is okay with the water and not just forcing them in there is super important. The more choices they have in doing this, the better they're going to be and the more confident they're going to be to jump off the tall dock. Remember, the eventual goal is to get them jumping off a very tall dock, so confidence from the very beginning is super important. The other little corgi is a brand new puppy named Cat and maybe he had to build up some more confidence to get back in using some treats, but we found with Morgan, her older sibling, that toys was number one for her. Now for Team Frenchies. Team Frenchies has been the most enlightening part of our whole journey of training dogs to get used to the water. One of our French Bulldogs, Sushi, has taken to it quite well and starting to jump into the water all on her own without any treats or toys present. She just starts jumping in the water ready to get reinforcement. And she is a big toy dog. She loves toys, particularly balls. I find that this process of getting your dog in the water is so much easier using toys but it's not impossible to use food because Miko, her sibling, also is getting used to the water, but not for toys. We've been using treats and getting her used to getting treats in the water. They were a lot like Team Corgis before where they're just dipping their toes in the water and barely getting in, and now look at them. It's really important for them to build so much confidence and value for that ramp. You want the dog to know how to get out of the water. And once they know how to get out of the water, it becomes incredibly more easier for them to want to jump in. I find that some dogs even do better starting off like on a lake shore or a pond because that water looks to be a lot darker than pool water. So if you're finding your dog struggling with pool water, maybe go get them into some low streams or some lake shores. And what's nice about those as well is just like the ramp, it's easier for the dog to coast into the water versus just plummeting straight into the deep end. Now with Team Terrier, our little silky terrier, Enya, has been doing a great job. And this is where her professional experience was so helpful to us. We got to work with a dog trainer named Megan at Canine Water World. Enya used to jump in the waters, particularly with the life vest, but started to get a little bit less confidence. Megan helped turn that around with the ramp trick and getting the dog to jump off the side of the ramp. And now look how Enya jumps off the baby dock 
onto the platform and then off the platform into the water. So by breaking it down and teaching them jump off to the platform is really great because you're also encouraging conditioning them to be more confident with jumping off the dock without having to be full splash into the water. Finally, we got Team Border Collie or Team Jade, depending on how you wanna see it. All the steps we've talked about with you, Jade accelerated super fast through those. And she was off the tall dock in no time flat. And some of your dogs will have an easier time with this than others especially if they love water and they love toys. And Jade loved both water and toys. And this made the process so much easier for her to do. So now with Jade, we've been trying to figure out actually ways we can improve our tossing of the toy so that way she can track the toy a lot easier. In the beginning stages, Jade just used to jump off straight into the water and just jump straight ahead, not even looking at the toy. You could actually release her from the dock and she'd jump in the water even if you didn't throw the toy in there. But now she's really starting to track the toy. And with the professional tips learned from Megan at Canine Water World, we've really started to increase her distance on the water. The first competition, she jumped about 16 feet, and now she's consistently jumping close to 20 to 21 feet. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the national average for border collies is 16 foot 11. So with some of the tips I wanna show you guys and some of the tips that I've been learning along my journey with dock diving, I'm hoping that you guys that are already started dock diving or just beginning will learn some things along the way. And if you're interested in any more future tips, make sure to let me know down below which team you're on, whether that be Team Corgi, Team French Bulldogs, Team Terrier, or Team Border Collie, and let me know how I can help you the best with this new sport called dock diving. And if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching here on the Doggy Dojo. As always, have some fun with your dogs, and we'll see y'all next time.